What's gravy, baby? You already know who it is. It's your boy Trey Father Trey. Where I never lead you astray, you heard me? And yes, if you've seen the title of the video, I have unlocked that mother F for Calvin Johnson. Yes, sir. 99 overall Calvin Johnson free Calvin Johnson that you get through the field pass. And I'm going to show y'all how I did it the fastest way, you know, that I believe it is to do it. But you have to be consistent, huh? You hear me? Well, before we get into it, I'm going to make sure y'all like the goddamn video. So I'm going to give y'all one second to press that goddamn like button. Hold up now. Y'all like, like that goddamn video, right? Y'all better have liked that goddamn video. I ain't gonna tell you, hey, listen, you know, already know. I ain't gonna tell you not that one more time, play boy. You hear me? All right, so let's get right into it. As far as the Calvin Johnson go, um, w what is critical, the, the, the critical thing and the most valuable thing to actually upgrade Calvino Johnson to get that level 50, which I just recently got not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't believe me? You already know how I go, baby. I got clips for the proof, you heard me? I got clips for every goddamn thing that I do. And you see right here, one day ago, it shows, bam, Johnson upgrade. I upgraded like, I think like three levels, like two levels. I upgraded like two or three levels, and I just happened to be level 50. I was like, damn, I was like level 40. I was like at the end of level 47. And then after that, I just look up and it's like I get 10,000 coins. I get the Pro Elite pack and then I get Calvin Johnson. I'm like, damn, god damn, bro. What, what the hell did I do? So, this is what I did. If you go to the season four field pass, what's critical, what you have to make sure you guys do is complete all of these. Yes, it looks like a lot, but if you have been keeping up to date with these, having at least one team of the year player in your um in your lineup, having one ring of honor player in your lineup, having one game changer player in your lineup, having one free agency player in your lineup, then you nine times out of ten already have all this done. Of course you have challenges, of course you have the sets, and then you have the stats with the players in your lineup. That's pretty much how all of these goes, as you see at the free agency promo. We go to the game changers, challenges, sets, and then playing the games with the player in your lineup. Same thing, ring of honor, challenges, sets, playing, um, playing and finishing objectives with a ring of honor player in your lineup. Same thing, team of the year, challenges, set, complete objectives with the player in your lineup, and then, I mean, that's that's pretty much what it is. And all of these give you XP, which is what's important. Because you see on all of these, you get XP for completing them. 75, 5,000, 75. Like, like, look at all these, bro. 5,000, 7,500, 5,000. Like, all this XP is crucial. And, it, you know, 10K right here, 5K, 5K, 10K. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this is what you guys need to do is make sure you run through all of these. So you, if you have not completed these right here, make sure. You get a team of the year, ring of honor, game changers, and free agency player in your lineup so that you can get those whenever you're completing challenges. You get the um you get objectives while completing challenges, but you also have to play head-to-head -head or solo battles. I'm mainly a head-to-head -head dude, you hear me? So I don't be on solo battles like that. You know what I'm saying? Solo battles too goddamn tedious, bro. You know, even though even though playing head-to-head -head is a goddamn headache nightmare, bro, it makes you wanna Throw your goddamn Xbox or PlayStation off the goddamn back in the year me. But, hey, head-to-head -head tends to be a little bit faster in most cases because you get people occasionally to rage quit, which I get a lot of people to rage quit, which, you know, I mean, that, that that's not something special. People quit on this game really quickly if you if you dominate their goddamn ass. You heard me? Hey, pause. Should I pause? Whatever, bro, whatever. So, make sure you guys do that. That's number one um obviously you got like these challenges and stuff xp like doing like touchdowns tackles and all this stuff rush yards pass yards in any game mode i've also been getting all of these as well daily tracker make sure you do all your daily track your daily um make sure you do your daily objective every goddamn day because you can see here i've gotten every single daily objective xp um reward all the way to 45k for 30 days i don't know how many days i'm at right now but i know i'm way beyond 30 i'm probably like at 35 days now or something like that so y'all need to make sure do your daily objectives every day to accumulate all this massive xp that's in here um i mean i haven't done my daily objective yet but we go get to that and then you know the season four token exchange set um set there's always a token at the end of every um season 
So if we go to the end of this season, there should be a token somewhere down here. Let's see. There should be a token. See, season five XP collectible. What this is going to do, whenever the new season drops, you can put this collectible into a set and it'll automatically grant you, I think like 10K XP. It's either 10 or 20K XP. It'll grant you right at the jump. So it's always prevalent that you guys gotta get all the way up to at least this point right here. I'm not gonna say you gotta get 75 and down below because the rest of this is just packs. Um, but you have to get this collectible. You have to get this collectible, y'all, for real, for real. You got to. So that's pretty much all that I can show you guys throughout the field pass. Um, as far as the competitive pass, you know, we have the Sugar Rush as well, which is pretty much the same exact thing like the other promos I told you. You get all the Sugar Rush challenge um, objectives to help you with this field pass. And then, you know, all the stats right here, I've completed all of them. Make sure you got a Sugar Rush player in your lineup um, and make sure you do the challenges. And then all the sets, make sure you complete Sugar Rush sets. House rules, I don't really give a damn about. I didn't play nothing but four goddamn house rules and I maxed it out. So house rules, you really don't have to do. Um, head to head, I did complete all the head to head ones. So you will have to play head to head or solo battles. And I did that, won 30 games, got my sacks, and got my total yards you know what i'm saying so maybe like trey but this is this is not xp for the field pass this is just sugar rush xp why does this matter um it matters because you get the season five xp in the actual sugar rush season field pass so you see 22500 right there and then 22500 right there 22500 right there 22,000, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is why it's important because you got all this season XP that's in the Sugar Rush field pass. You hear me? That's why it's important to get the Sugar Rush XP to help you level up the Sugar Rush field pass in order to for you to get the 22,500 season five XP throughout the field pass. How many of them is it, bro? How many of them, of, of, of them is it? Let's do some math real quick for y'all just to give y'all some food for thought. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's seven of them. So 22,500 times seven, that's 157,500 XP, y'all. So if you don't complete that, you're missing out on 157,500 XP, you heard me? So that's what you guys got to think about. Competitive pass is pretty much the same exact thing like I just explained to you guys. Doing your mud champs or doing head-to-head -head seasons, solo battles, whichever way that you want to go about doing it. I've had multiple videos on how to get through this. I've been playing a lot of mud champs of late. I'm 20 out of 25 right now. I'm trying to get 10 more wins to get 35. But why is this important? And also completing these two sets right here, which is very easy, and accumulating all of your competitive points why is that important why should you be trying to get through the competitive pass because the same way like the sugar rush promo you get xp throughout the competitive field pass 50k right there um you know what i'm saying um 25k right there let's keep going 25k right there let's keep going 25k right there you know what i'm saying those are all the ones that i have accumulated so far but i have a 25k right there i have um let me see 25k right there and i think that's it i think i only have one more which is that 25k um as far as the competitive i think that expires today or tomorrow right it's actually it expires tomorrow so i have until tomorrow for me to actually try to get to level 21 so i gotta get on and grind out today and tomorrow morning to try to get this 21 or, or and possibly get this free raheem moster his ass gonna be you know quick soul for training most likely you dig so the competitive pass is also very um valuable as well mission mud as far as mission mud goes it's kind of the same thing you need to make sure you have a mission mud player in your lineup um complete these mission mud sets and then of course these are the stats for having a player in your lineup and then of course these are the stars from the challenges and um yeah i mean you got the house rule ones and the head-to-head -head solo battle ones 
I just got night train lane as you guys saw last video so I will start to accumulate these right here you don't have to have night train you can have any Mishima player in your lineup just food for thought but I'm these right here these head-to-head -head ones in these um, stats ones right here we will begin those very very soon because night train is in the lineup now so that's what you guys have to do to try to get this Calvin Johnson as fast and as quick as possible and we're gonna go check him out right quick before we end the video go ahead and look at him his car looks very nice we got red zone threat on him we have the ability he starts off with double me Calvin Johnson from the jump he starts off it goes off um what I think it goes off what every five plays or some weird stuff like that we got the red zone threat on it from one we got that ability to double me Calvin Johnson for one and then we got the deep out for zero you hear me and he gets any team Kim so you know he going for the Raiders these are the stats 6 5 236 99 speed 99 excel all that good stuff look at all the 99s and 98s bro come on bro the dude jumping out the gym hey Calvin Johnson is probably the best receiver right now so you guys need to go ahead try your best do everything that i just showed y'all and you should be able to get him in a decent amount of time until next time y'all let me know any comments comments i mean comments questions concerns down low in the video but until next time it's been your boy y'all stay blessed bees and stay breezy mine